Hi, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I tackled this strawberry in colour pencil. So just lightening my sketch to start with and then for this drawing the most important thing really was to work out where the shine was and where all the seeds were. There's a lot of seeds on this strawberry so I thought I'd start with just kind of mapping out where they are to try and get some form and obviously make sure that I don't put some colour over where these seeds will be because generally there's a little bit of a hint of a highlight uh, a little bit of a shine around the seed which makes it kind of stand out so I'm just mapping out where the shine is at the top of the strawberry and darkening around where the seeds will be using a light hand and going in with about two or three layers to begin with leaving the areas of shine completely free of colour so that the white paper shows through so you want those highlights to be really bright as bright as they can be so again looking at the reference photo to find out where the shadows are on each of the seeds and where there's little layers of colour So as the light hits the strawberry and bounces off all the kind of little bumps and grooves, it leaves different shapes of shine. So you're looking really closely at the reference photo to make sure you're getting it as accurate as possible. Now down in this bottom right hand corner, it was a bit darker and there was more areas of solid colour. So again I mapped out where the seeds were and mapped out where the highlights would fall and I left those blank. So being really careful not to put any colour on these areas, leaving the paper to show through. See I'm just sketching out where the highlights are. A bit time consuming but really therapeutic. I really enjoyed this drawing. It was a lot of fun. really interesting to see how the light falls. So I felt confident to go in and darken up in between the highlights and in between the seeds before I moved on to the leaf area. Again mapping out those seeds, creating some quite interesting shapes. So once I've got all of the seeds plotted in, I could go in and darken up around the shine. And now going to the darkest part of the strawberry, which is just under the leaves, creating a shadow. So I could go in with a heavier hand and lots more layers. I'm using the Caran d'Ache and the Polychromos. Going in with a more of a vibrant red, an orangey red. And I found the easiest way to get the shine to look as realistic as I could was to blend with the white colour pencil and some of the colour from the, um, the, the red colour that I put down actually blended with the white and created this really lovely pink colour which was perfect for the, the shine. So doing that all over the strawberry using a slightly firmer hand but again working in layers, so building it up slowly, being careful not to colour in those highlights. Adding a little bit more depth. Once you've got the mid-tones in you can really see where the darkest parts need to be a little bit darker. And I noticed the shadows around the seeds needed to be darker. Blending that in with the white Caran d'Ache. Filling in those mid-tones again. working around each seed. Working in layers and blending with the white. So 
for darkening up some more, a few more layers. So really smoothing it and losing the grain of the paper. Try and make it look as realistic as possible, as shiny as possible. And making the skin of the strawberry look as smooth as possible. Don't notice the highlights weren't as white as I thought, so just going in with a slight bit of colour. And then tackling that shine again, darkening up around the seeds. And following the patterns that they made as the light hit the top of the strawberry. Going in with the yellow. And they had a little bit of brown, a little bit darker area, so really darkening up those seeds in that bottom left hand corner. They really created a shadow. Make it look a little bit deeper and that the seeds are set into the strawberry, not kind of balancing on top. darkening up around. Adding some shadow. Going in with the greys and the black directly underneath. It's actually really quite dark under there. So just creating that depth and adding a bit to the strawberry blending with the cold grey one so again it doesn't look so grainy smoothing out the shadow and now going in with a really dark caran dash lovely red colour from light to dark just making sure the highlights are where they should be and the shadows are where they need to be got everything in, the leaves and the shadow, you can really see where it needs to be darkened up. Just adding a little bit of colour to the shine. touches of detail and blending and the strawberry is finished I hope you enjoyed this video and got some tips on how to create the shape and the depth and also the shine of that realistic strawberry. It would be great if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if there's any other videos, anything that you would like help with, um, then please leave a suggestion in the comments below. I hope you have a really great day, keep practicing and I look forward to seeing you next time.